Ever thought about what's in bear spray? Unlike guns, you have to use it up close, but it works wonders in getting them to back off. The moment it touches a bear's eyes, they start feeling a burning sensation, and tears start flowing. If the bear inhales the spray, it can make their breathing a bit tough. The magic ingredient causing all this is capsaicin, which is found in hot chili peppers. Ever pondered how lasers work their magic to erase tattoos? You see, when you're getting inked, a bunch of needles are jabbing your skin, dragging both large and small bits of ink from the top layer of your skin down to the deeper one. Your body's defense system, the white blood cells, spots these alien bits immediately and tries to boot them out of your body. But most ink bits are just too chunky to move. That's when the laser steps in. It smashes the big ink bits into smaller ones. This guy's got something piping hot right out of the oven. But he's not just touching it, he's holding it like it's nothing. It's not some magic trick or that Leiden Frost thing you science nerds might be thinking of. You see this other guy slapping hot molten metal. If he kept his hand there, that effect wouldn't last long. So what's the secret? It's all about what he's holding holding a silica tile. These things are so awesome, even NASA uses them to shield space shuttles from insane heat. They're made from top-notch sand and are so airy and light. In fact, they're 90% air. That's why they can cool down so fast. Ever scratched your head about how the flame in an underwater welding machine keeps burning, even though it's deep under the sea? You see, it's actually an electric arc, not a flame, that does the welding. But hold on, wouldn't that electric arc electrocute everything in the water? Well, actually, the welding rod is covered in a special stuff called flux. When it gets hot, it shields the electric arc in a gas bubble. So you've seen this machine that chews up tree stumps, right? It's okay, but it doesn't always pull everything out. But there's this really cool DIY tip that might do the trick even better. Here's how it goes. You wrap a chain around the stump. Then, you drape the chain over a big enough tire that's near the stump. The tire acts like a pivot, helping to lift the stump out. You connect the other end of the chain to a car, a four-wheel drive if possible, for extra power. When the car drives forward, it yanks the stump right out of the ground. Ever wondered about how much speed you'll need to be able to run on water? It's all about balance. Just like a boat floats, you'd need the water to push up as hard as you're pushing down. Now, if you had super big feet, it might be a bit easier. But with regular feet, you'd have to move super fast, like skipping a stone on a pond. Believe it or not, you'd need to be three times quicker than the fastest man on Earth, and that's about 30 meters per second. Ever thought or worried about why big school buses in the USA don't have seat belts? It's not just because it'd be a wild ride to get a bus full of youngsters to strap in. Safety is key, right? But here's the kicker. School buses are actually one of the safest transportation options for school kids. They use this awesome trick called compartmentalization to keep kids safe. It's like each kid gets their own mini fort during a crash. This is because the seats are snug together and have tall, bouncy backs that soak up energy. 